Welcome everybody to the 71210 LEGO Dimensions Cyborg Fun Pack. Released in the year 2015, this set comes with 50 pieces, one minifigure, and one vehicle. The minifigure we get in this set is Cyborg. Now obviously the main component of the Cyborg that gets him in the game is his base, which you can see here, it has his character coded into the bottom of it, so that way when you put it on the toy pad, it can read which character it is. In this case, it would be Cyborg. And at the front here, you can see it has his logo. And if I didn't mention this already, the base is the main component of the minifigure. You can take the minifigure off of it and use it as a regular minifigure, and this will still work perfectly fine. It, the minifigure doesn't affect the base, essentially. The minifigure for Cyborg itself is a pretty cool one. This is a similar design to his, not similar, this is the exact same design as his 2014 counterpart, which was featured in LEGO Batman 3 Beyond Gotham. It comes with the Cyborg helmet, in which underneath you will find a minifigure head, which does have two faces. The first being a smile, and the other being an angry face. You can see there what Cyborg looks like with the angry face, uh, what, the, what the angry face looks like with the Cyborg helmet on him. For an accessory, he does come with a stud shaker in light gray. And all around, I think, is a great minifigure. Now, to build the vehicle itself is a little complicated. When you open the instructions, you get instructions to build your minifigure. And then from there, when you flip the page, it tells you this. Continued using the in-game building instructions. To put it simply, my game turned about turned off. You take your cyborg minifigure and you place him on the toy pad. The base will read that it is cyborg and he goes into the game. Once he is in game, you can switch to him. And from there, you unlock the building instructions. If you want to see me build this and other vehicles from Wave 1, go check out my Wave 1 time last video. Link in the description. Once you reach the end of the building instructions, it'll ask you this. Do you want to save this model onto its toy tag? You're going to want to click yes, and you'll place your now built vehicle onto the toy pad. And from there, it is available for you to use in game. For those of you who need a bit of an explanation or are more of a visual learner, to put it simply, these toy tags, I can get it off the base, come in the box blank. When you put the character onto the toy pad and unlock the building instructions, you will build the vehicle, and at the end when it asks you if you want to save it to the toy tag, it will write that vehicle onto this toy tag, meaning this toy tag is now that vehicle. For those of you who are wondering why does it not just come in the box as the vehicle itself, Probably because it is easier to mass produce just these blank toy tags rather than just having to create an individual one for each vehicle. Now the Cyber Guard itself is a pretty neat build. It comes in the same color scheme as Cyborg and is held up on the base with a stick piece. If we remove it from the base, it's actually a pretty cool little neat little mech minifigure build. For reference, this is what Cyborg looks like standing next to it, both of them off their bases. At the bottom here, the legs are attached via Technic pins, meaning that you can move move them anywhere in a 180 degree angle. Well, okay, never mind, a 90 degree angle. And the build of legs itself is also attached to the bill via a Technic pin. The arms are pretty simple, the left one being a cannon, and the right one literally just having a one by one clip for a hand. Both are attached via ball joints and look pretty cool. There's a big red windscreen piece here at the front, and that is obviously the cockpit of the mech. All around, I'll say this is a 10 out of 10 build. For $15, was this set worth its money? Was it worth $15 for value? Most people probably wouldn't see it as that. Me, in my opinion, this is one of my favorite Lego Dimension sets now. I barely got this thing last year. I've, like, some of these I've had longer than others. This one, I have had in for a shorter time, and I have loved it. In my opinion, I think it's worth the money, but if you're someone who didn't think any of the Dimensions fun packs were worth their money, or any of the Dimensions packs that, that matter were worth the money, that's you. My opinion, I think this is a 10 out of 10 set. Highly recommend if you have the chance to pick this up. Definitely do so. It will cost you a bit more, but it'll be worth that money.
So that is my review of the 71210 LEGO Dimensions Cyborg Fun Pack. Let me know in the comments which is awesome to review. Leave a like if you enjoyed. Subscribe when you're on here. Hit that notification bell to see more LEGO Dimensions content. And until next time, bye.